Hey guys, well about three years ago, three and a half years ago, my wife and I opened up a hair salon to uh, keep the cost down. I built most of the stuff that's inside the salon. I built the hair stations out of uh, two by two steel and reclaimed wood. I built our front desk and some retail shelving. But uh, now we need a partition wall in the back of the salon. So this video series I'm starting here is going to document the uh, the fabrication of the steel framework, the milling of the reclaimed wood, and basically every aspect of, uh, of building something from scratch. This first video will be the construction of the steel frame, and uh, I'll kind of explain as I go what I'm doing, and uh, well, hopefully you like it. All right, well, this was the last piece on my list. Um, I made a cut sheet. Basically, I, I, I drew a skeleton of the, uh, the framework, and I labeled each piece uh, alphabetically, and then I put the, uh, the lengths and whether or not they need to have a, a bevel cut on one end or both ends, or they're just flat on both ends, all the measurements, how many I need, and uh, so now everything's checked off the list. It's time to start welding.
My Millermatic 211 here will make anybody look like a pro. Now I've got to build this wall structure in two separate pieces otherwise I'd never get it through the door and I probably wouldn't be able to pick it up. So I'm going to take this flat bar, these two legs is where the, the second half of the wall will mount. So I'm going to cut a couple pieces and make a couple of tabs with a hole in it that will bolt to the next bar the next two by uh, two square tubing and it'll be completely hidden. Well, I've got it kind of mocked up here. It's going to uh, bolt together right here. So these, this section and this zigzag section will be two different pieces. I've got a little issue. This top bar is kind of bent down a little bit. So this, this panel is out of square. So I've only welded the sides that are gonna hinge and I'm going to uh, somehow I'm going to strap diagonally to try and force this up and then I'll weld it in place and that should hold the top piece straight and thus square up the, uh, the whole frame. I think that's a pretty good start for today. I'll get back to it probably tomorrow. made a whole bunch of these two inch by two inch tabs. They've got a hole drilled in them. I will weld these tabs into the corners all the way around the frame and 
I'll screw through the hole into a plywood backer that has the reclaimed wood skins on the other side. So you'll see the, the reclaimed wood from the salon side of this wall. The back side will be painted black. It'll have a curtain hanging over it. You won't see any of it at all. Uh, I think it's going to look really nice. So let's get going. Well, something that you uh, professional welders may know more about. It seems as though using the magnet to hold this plate in place was completely throwing off my weld. Um, it works just fine when I don't have the magnet anywhere near it, but uh, I'm going to have to come up with a different way to secure these while I weld them. I think it might be a simple matter of just turning my magnet so that it's perpendicular to this instead of laying flat and providing so much interference. I'll, I'll tack the top and bottom and see what we end up with. better way better I'm sure you professional welders are yelling at your screen right now but uh, I got it figured out you can hear the difference in how much better it works without the uh, magnet interference <laughs> 